What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to finally yet another test server session here on War Robots after a long time with a new heavy rocket launcher called Avalanche, which is basically the heavy version of pins and Tolumbas, okay? And it wasn't the Trident, and here are the statistics, guys. Damage 3000, which is lower than Exodus per rocket at level 8. Not sure if that's intended. Range 500, reload time 28 seconds. Now, that is a very long reload time, and the crazy thing is that this thing re reloads one rocket every three or four seconds, so it takes, yeah, it takes forever to gen to regenerate your firepower. But of course, if you have if you are fully loaded at 500 meters range you can do insane amounts of damage uh, pretty good actually it's I think you can do more damage than tr uh, than the trident could do in a very short time you see this was a Hades we've brought the Hades down on this test server right to the last stand with just one of our salvos so damage wise it seemed it seems okay the only thing is that the reload takes freaking forever if you take a look at to the lower right corner we only regenerate like two rockets in like eight seconds or so. This is insane. That's like no damage regenerated whatsoever. And it's not enough to really fight somebody. And um, so I'm not sure if that's really intended that the reload is that slow on this thing. Because after all, it should be outperforming the trident and damage wise, right? Not range wise, because in range the trident has more. And it may yet be the more useful weapon based on that range. But when it comes to the pure damage output, this new th weapon should be better than Trident because it doesn't have as much range. It's a simple, you know, simple calculation. More range, less damage output. That's how balancing is done in these games. And uh, in this case here, I'm not sure if we're actually talking about more damage than Trident. I believe that the Trident has a higher sustained amount of damage output. And the reason may be that they just aren't finished with the weapon yet. So far also on this test server session, there was only one-on-ones, right? Maybe tomorrow this will be different on Saturday. I'm not sure. Right now it was only one-on-ones on the test server, so let's see how it looks tomorrow when I show you the other weapons. The new Hussar, which is the medium version of Dragoon, and uh, the Igniter, which is the heavy, uh, medium version of Ember, right? So there's a lot of stuff coming in this weekend, guys. Get yourself ready for tons of video content here on the test server with brand new weapons gameplay. And of course, guys, as usual, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, right? and uh, you like to watch these videos, you find some joy in it, or you just re are interested in news, then please consider subscribing to it and also hitting that notification bell. It helps me out tremendously, and it really is much appreciated. Here we're fighting a Strider with Last Stand and Ember and Blaze Blaze. A really, really strong beast, and one of my favorite robots, if you have seen yesterday's video. Um, but the thing is, he uh, you know, let me let m himself get his last stand activated early on, and then I could take him out with the help of my own last stand I have on this test server, Inquisitor. Look at this freaking clown thing. Why is it so freaking colorful? Look at this Inquisitor. I have never seen that skin before. At least I haven't used it ever before. But I saw it on the test server, I was like, what the heck? What is this? This looks like, looks like a clown. And then I uh, decided to take it. Now take a look at this down here. The, you guys know how the Tolumbas take a long time to recharge, right? It takes forever to recharge Tolumbas all the way. Now let's look at this. These here on the outer sides are Tolumbas and they're almost fully ro loaded while the, build, while the Avalanche has barely made 30%. Okay, and the damage output with 3,000 damage per rocket isn't even much higher than the Tolumba rocket, the, uh, but, you know, the reload takes forever. So I think that the relations, when it comes to reload and damage, aren't finished yet on this weapon. There's, I'm very certain, by the way, why is the damage so delayed? I'm very certain that the, uh, the reload time is going to be made shorter, or basically that the weapon will regenerate more rockets in, the, in a shorter time in the future. This is the first War Robots test server test with the Avalanche, and I'm pretty sure um, that, that they will increase the reload time a little bit, because this is much lower damage output than Trident's has, I believe. Right? And I don't think that's what they intend to do with a new weapon that's supposed to be interesting and uh, maybe even, you know, attractive for you guys to go for if you guys want uh, a heavy version of Pin and Tolumba. We're fighting here a last stand Ares. Pretty strong beastie boy, uh, especially since he's also locking me down with every single shot. Uh, but yeah, so let's keep going here. We're half... Meanwhile, after a minute or so, we have almost regenerated half the firepower on the avalanche. How good is that? <laughs> uh, no, it actually takes like half a minute to regenerate the whole thing. But man, this is a long time. You know how much can happen in a half a minute? 
And the Trident at level 8, what does it do? 5, 6,000 damage per rocket? Um, and the, uh, the, or is 5, maybe 5, I'm not sure how much exactly, but uh, this thing here does only 3,000 per rocket. And the crazy thing is, the Exodus rocket launcher, it already does 3,250 at level 8. The Exodus, which it has a lot more rockets and regenerates rockets a lot faster, has even higher rocket per hit damage, right? The elf, the, every single rocket deals more damage. But of course, let's not forget the Exodus is a brawling weapon, a rushing weapon for night fighters in close range, while this here has a long range. So obviously long range weapons will always be outperformed by short range brawlers, but should really the uh, one hit rocket deal even less damage than one Exodus rocket? Not sure. But yeah, so this is the, the state of the uh, avalanche, if you will, right now, as of now, from the test server from Friday. And uh, here I'm trying to fight this uh, super overpowered <laughs> Mercury. Problem is, though, that the, this guy also has last stand on it, and I can't get him get, can't get rid of him here. Uh, not with these little uh, weapons that don't even have any damage output, right? Let's jump into the Fury, maybe we can splash him, because that's another thing, the splash damage is big on these weapons. Right, same as Pins Tolumbas have big splash damage, and uh, they have too. I'm not sure if they have more splash damage though. It may, you know, it might be possible that the Avalanche actually has higher splash than Tolumbas do. I can't say that for sure right now, not at, at, at this moment, but I guess we're gonna figure this out in time. And um, yeah, so let's keep going fighting this guy and uh, see how much we can do. What is it even? Oh, it's an Hades, okay? A full Hades is coming in with last stand, with everything you've got on it and uh, I'm walking away and here you see once again damage wise and we were let's go back we weren't even fully recharged right no we're only charged to about 60% maybe 70% right and now we're firing and we've drained the health on this Hades down to almost last stand HP level like 30-40% right here we are last stand is now activated while he's trying to follow me and I can splash around the wall and even though this is the sniper setup right here I'm able to kill him now after his shield goes down because we have last stand and his last stand was already activated before. Boom. There you go. Bye-bye, Hades. So yeah, it's definitely, for, in, in terms of damage output, it seems interesting. But the reload is the one really, really big problem, which I'm relatively certain they're going to work on a little bit. And I wanted to bring, you know, the gameplay as early as possible already on Saturday, on Friday after evening. Let's see, even if maybe the uh, the, the stats will have already some different uh, stats tomorrow on Saturday. I don't think so though, because they uh, it would be the same test server client that we're running. Um, but yeah, so I will keep you definitely updated, guys, on the Avalanche and also on the other two weapons with gameplay tomorrow um, for uh, the. Medium Dragoon and the Medium Ember, called Huzar and Igniter in that order. Alright, let's fight this guy over there. This is also a, um, uh, a Falcon with also the same weapon, right? I'm waiting for him to fire almost all his weapons and then I do my session. And the good thing is I had my resistance still up when, when he was hitting me, and I now made sure that I was going to be able to hit him full in the face with his resistance down when I hit him, right? And this way I was able to, you know, get out of this with next to no damage taken while he has suffered a major, uh, a ridiculous amount of damage right here. So we're walking back now, I'm, I'm, I don't want to get too close to him because he's got the glory. And I know that one thing for sure, if, he, if we were to fight in a short range brawl, his glory is going to outperform my one avalanche in the middle by like 15 million times. So I needed him to do this. I needed him to think it's a good choice to jump and lose his resistance. And uh, obviously, it was not a good choice. <laughs> so uh, walking in again, let's see what he has now. What is this? Uh, ah, it's, an, it's a nemesis. Okay, it's a nemesis. I see. So the nemesis shield is very short, so I can just jump up right here and do some damage. And then this happened. Like, what the heck is this? The last stand triggers at 90% now? What the? This is not supposed to happen. This is a weird glitch or bug or something. It's not It's not normal that the last stand triggers so early. Huh. Should trigger at 30 or 35% on this level uh, 6 module, level 5. I don't know how what the level is. Maybe they're maxed. Uh, but then it should drop at 40%, but not at 80 or 90. That's, however, a bug that I have seen quite a bit on the test server. So... 
you know, uh, let's put some, uh, s do my, let's do my job. My job as a beta tester or as a test server tester is to report bugs. So, Pixonic, there is a weird bug coming in where uh, the last stand sometimes triggers at 90% for, uh, and, and I think I've only seen it on Pantheon robots. I've never seen it on a different robot. It's always Pantheon robots that have this problem. Maybe something with a shield, I don't know. But yeah, so now I've uh, done my, my, my part as a beta tester here or a test server tester. This is a hover right there and he's using the medium dragoon already and the light, uh, who the Marquis, Marques or whatever it's called. Uh, so nice combination for the hover, but the damage output is also for him relatively low as he is also a sniper. And uh, when I uh, get him really good with these three heavy weapons, I'm able to do a lot more damage than he is. So last sequence right here, we're fighting a Butch with also four times the avalanche. So what I'm doing is trying to make him miss all his shots and then I'm forcing him or making him think it's a good time to switch to the other two weapons. Which is now, you see the switch coming in, he's taking all the damage but my sideways away jump will protect me. And then my, my a sudden stop on the wall also protected me from his counter fire. And that is it. So ladies and gentlemen, tell me please, what do you think about the avalanche? Is it a good weapon? Do you think the reload is justified like this time it takes? Just give me your information or your input and uh, impression. That's the word I'm looking for. Give me your impressions please in the comment section. I'll read them and I'll also answer to as many as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can it for more. Thanks for being with me. You guys are awesome as always. Money Gaming, signing off. Bye-bye.